the Nigerian government has received 22 Benin bronzes from the German government after over 125 years. Well, the German government says it is working towards rewriting its wrongs by returning these artifacts to where they truly belong. Our rights correspondent, Punariman Benjamin, has more. Out of the 1,130 Benin bronzes, 22 have returned home from Germany. Gathered in this hall are representatives of the German and the Nigerian governments. They are here for the official handing over of the 22 repatriated Benin bronzes from Germany to Nigeria. The event started with Nigeria and Germany consolidating their friendship in areas of trade, security, health and education. I'm happy to say that, uh, that this progress that has been made uh, has also been in the context of larger relations by lateral relations between our two countries, uh, which um, I'm happy to say that Germany is um, you know, one of the key partners uh, of uh, Nigeria for a number of years now. We as the European Union have asked you, Nigeria, African countries, to stand at our side when our peace order is under check. And this is uh, why we engage also with you when you have asked us to, to support you while your stability has been threatened to stand at your side. The Nigerian government, while appreciating the German government's good gesture by returning the artifact, calls on the British government to follow suit by returning all Nigerian artifacts in its possession. We call on the British Museum to release the more than 900 billion bronzes in its hold. A year has rolled by since Nigeria submitted an official letter to the British Museum demanding the return of Nigerian antiquities in this museum. Yet there has been no reply of any kind. I visited in July this year, hoping that the success recorded with the, with the Germans will nudge the British Museum to do what is right. But I met a brick wall. The British Museum and all those holding on to our artifacts must understand that repatriation is a cause which time has come. They must also understand that many of these cultural objects are not mere art to us, but the true essence of our being. The German government, in an emotional speech, promises to rewrite its bad history by ensuring all other bronzes left are returned to Nigeria. What is crucial is you know where they are, you know they belong to Nigeria, and you know you can always come, and they can also always come back to their home. This is not the first time that Nigerian artifacts are being brought back home. The German government's decision to return these artifacts should send signal to other countries who are still holding on to Nigerian artifacts to return them. Punariman Benjamin, Arise News. Well, thank you, Punariman, for that report. Well, um, let's discuss more on this development yeah. as we're now being joined in the studio by the Director General of the National Commission for Museums and Monuments, Professor Abba Isa Tijani. Thank you so much, Professor Tijani, for being here. Well, congratulations are in order yes. because since we signed that agreement with the German government in July of this year, we knew that this day was going to come, at least 22 out of the 1,100 that is in Germany. But, you know, with this returning of these bronzes, a lot of questions are being raised. And one of them is the fact that the place where this artifacts will be kept. Mm. I do know that the government has its own plans. The Edo State government is building its own museum. The Oba of Benin is equally doing the same thing. So one wonders, you as, you know, the <laughs> body in charge of our museums in the country, mm. um, would this create a problem or are they going to work together, complementary, to ensure that this arts are kept safe? All right, thank you very much for having me. Uh, I want to say that, uh, you know, the efforts we've been making to get uh, Nigerian stolen artifacts uh, back to Nigeria is a concerted effort. And uh, therefore, 
uh, when we go out to those countries, we go out to those museums, we negotiate as Nigeria. So therefore, when these artifacts return, they return to Nigeria. And the issue of where these artifacts are going, who controls them, is never a problem. It's a kind of uh, a mischievous effort by different groups to uh, disrupt the efforts that are the successes that Nigeria is making. Mm -hmm. I want to assure you and to tell you that the National Commission for Museums and Monuments, as the body that approves the establishment of museums and regulates museums in Nigeria, is very much in control and is regulating the institution. So when these artifacts come, of course, we have the existing National Museum in Benin City. Some of these objects will stay in this museum, and the museum is making efforts also to expand the existing storage facilities and galleries. So that's why federal government has set aside in the 2023 budget to expand the museum. And of course, the Royal Benin Museum, which is also going to come up, is there and it will enable some of these objects to be exhibited there. And all other museums that will come out by either the adult state government or other individual groups and organizations that will come up with new museums are all concerted efforts to see that the Benin bronzes that are being returned have places where are of international standard, where these objects can be stored and displayed. So it's never an issue. And don't forget that out there we have about 5,000 artifacts. Wow. And tell me what museum, a single museum, that can hold these objects. It's, it's actually interesting to hear you put a figure yes. uh, to it. And one gets a sense that there might actually be a whole lot more, more than, than the 5,000 that we're talking about. Yeah. But these gestures on the part of you know, Germany and, uh, of course, the United States, mm -hmm. the Smithsonian did return uh, some. Uh, you know, some have uh, described it as, uh, you know, a dark colonial past. But just like it's been asked, is Nigeria really ready to house these artifacts? Like you said, there are quite a number of them, so many. Are we really ready? I mean, like the songwriter said, uh, now that we've found love, what are we going, to, are do we going to do with it? What are we going to do with it? Well, uh, you have to understand that uh, we don't go out there to negotiate for the return of these objects if we are not ready. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you that uh, as the Director General of the National Commission for Museums and Monuments, I know what we have been putting in over these two years that I came. We have upgraded and republished our museums across the country. We have 53 museums across Nigeria, national museums. Wow. And we have... Uh, so far uh, renovated about 17 of them when I came within these two years. And we will continue to do that. And we will be expanding our galleries. And that is why we are making efforts to see that we also have museum in Abuja. Because we don't have museum in Abuja. And we are making sure to see that we establish museum within the country. That in itself is a very, very great so yeah. this is part uh, you know, of the process. Yes. Yes. Part of the process yeah. is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. But at the end of the day, um, Globally, museums is a major tourist attraction. Absolutely. And Here in Nigeria, you have talked about refurbishing of major museums across the country, but how many people know where these museums are located? Or do you say, would you say we have one in particular that we can showcase to the world and tell all the tourists That's a global come standard. here mm. and experience the Nigerian culture, especially from the past? Well, the state I, of our museums in Nigeria. Well, that's the key, you know, the state of our museums. That is why, as a professional myself, I make sure that these museums are put into a state that we can be proud of. And I have done that. And uh, if you go to National Museum Ibadan, National Museum Lagos, National Museum ACA, National Museum IFE, and many of our museums across the country that we've been able to renovate in the last two years, you will see that they are of international standard. The exhibits are excellent, well displayed, and many of our colleagues that came from outside of Nigeria are proud and are happy to see that we are making this effort. But we also want to reach out to Nigerians, and especially the youth, through digitization of our collections, right. to see that we will be able to virtually display our objects 
for mm. people to access them Very remotely yeah. so that that will also attract them to come to the museums to see the actual objects. Now tell us uh, about some of these uh, historical artifacts. I mean, it's amazing. It, it speaks to the level of sophistication and artistry on the part of those who, you know, came up with these artworks mm. to think that the, the, the Benin Palace the Benin Kingdom was actually raided as far back as 1897. Well, it goes... Tell us the about the, the, the head of the Oba, for example, like this mm -hmm. one. Is it just, uh, uh, you know, a uh, depiction of the head of just any Oba, or is it the Oba of Benin at the time? You know, just give us a uh, historical background uh, to some of these artifacts. Well, I want us to understand and to know that the Benin Kingdom existed you know, for many years. And these objects were produced to display their cultural heritage, to show a record history, what transpired during this uh, uh, existence of the kingdom. So any time when an Oba is coronated, then the uh, brass casters are commissioned to produce the bust of the ah. Obas of that time. And they are part of their ritual beliefs. And also, is part of the power and authority of the Oba as well. And that is why many of these objects are associated with their religious beliefs, mm -hmm. but as well as ceremonial, to show their power and authority, and also their uh, power to, you know, appoint chiefs, you know, and representatives at various uh, you know, levels or strata of the community. Mm -hmm. And so these objects not only depict the authority, but also record history. Ah, That's why when you see I the two the stones, yeah. you yeah. see that there are a lot of, you know, iconographic inscriptions. Uh, inscriptions and all this is part of the history. And you will see that when they had contact with the Europeans, mm -hmm. you will see that there are many of the artifacts that display, uh, you know, a representation of the Europeans as well. It's interesting to see that huge yeah. key. I don't yeah. know Honestly, if, I, if we can. it's even quite know, sophisticated seeing yeah. the artistry that went yeah. into this. But as Absolutely. we wrap up this conversation, yeah. while we're excited that these artifacts are being returned back to Nigeria, but some wonder, um, it, does it just end there? Should we be seeking some sort of compensation and reparation? You know, this was stolen at the end of the day. It's a case of, you know, I steal from you, I bring it back. And is all it is enough okay. to return it? Is that enough? Well, I have to, you know, uh, tell Nigerians that uh, we are in a global, you know, uh, uh, time mm. that we need to partner. We need to work together. And that is why when these artifacts are looted, we said we want them back. Do the right thing. First, let this get ownership of these artifacts mm. so if we are talking of other things then we can carry on with that one but let's first take possession of these artifacts but also part of the repatriation is to build relationship mm. collaboration and capacity building joint research joint exhibition and so many other things that museums are known to be that is why it is a mutual benefit for mm. both of them. Uh, Lai Mohammed, um, you know, mentioned in that report that 900, over 900 are still with the British Museum. Uh, where, what's, what's the state of affairs with that now? Well, the British Museum will Very eventually good. come on board. They have the largest uh, in, in Europe, of course, but they are going to return this artifact at some point in time because they, ca they are seeing that many museums and countries mm. are doing the right thing. Mm. And why wouldn't they, they do the right They are the ones that invented well. Nigeria. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. All right, we, we have, have to, say to say thank you, thank you yeah. so much, uh, Director General of the National Commission for Museums and Monuments, Professor Ava Isa Tijani. Thank you and well done to you and your team. And of course, the Minister of Information and Culture for all that you're doing to return. Yes, indeed. Not just our artifacts, but to give us a heritage sense of pride yeah. and heritage. Back, Hopefully, honestly. the children will learn all about this. And thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you for having me. Thank you very much.